Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of U.S. News by Billy, episode 27. Today's date, June 11, 2023. New. This is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. U.S. military pilots recall. Orange sky equals a biochem weapon, some say. Dog man, what's happening at the Texas border, plus, in 2023? Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, Mr. MBB333, Galactic Talks, recent interview of Jessica Ariel Morocco and Peter the Insider, Israeli News Live with Bonnie. Uh, Dr. William Mount, uh, before it's news, Benjamin Fulford, 107, and Hal Turner's site. So, let's get started. Okay. Okay. So, recently we heard last week uh, that information, intel that came out on Mike Adams and also a Liberty Man, John Moore's site that, and I had uh, other sources and Patriot subscribers also who lived in that area. So in the Tucson, Arizona area, I think that's a uh, Montham Davis, a military base. We had uh, hundreds of planes that we understood were going to be refurbed. And uh, initially we heard it took two to three months. Now other sources are saying two to three weeks. Uh, and it's going to take about 260 people per plane, $1 million, to refurb them and get them up. F-16s, Warthogs, a 10 C-130s. And we had uh, also confirmation from eyes on people living in the area saying, yes, this is going on. And so the question was, where are they going to get pilots? So uh, the uh, story was that the military, the intel sources were saying that the military was going to activate Pilots who had previously been in the military. Uh, Dr. William Mount pointed out that a lot of those are commercial pilots who are not combat pilots. Rather, they, their experience in the military was flying transport planes. So that's going on. So now I looked up what is necessary for the U.S. military to activate pilots. And so to activate military, any, any position that's been in, including pilots, there has to be an act of war by Congress or a declaration of a national state of emergency this is also by Congress, or if Congress is not meeting, then it can be done by the U.S. President. Now let's look at uh, what is the perception of the majority of the American people with regard to the legitimacy of both Congress and and the current uh, JB. So, we'll see. We know that we had that event in November of 2020. And we had in January of 2021, Congress, who had to vote on what were the results of the November 2020 event. Now, we have 435 people in the House. We have 100 senators. And this makes up Congress. Out of this group, we have 535. 
we had only 100 who had stood up and said we have evidence that things went on in this November 2020 event that need to be investigated and this is true under the Constitution of the United States to take an additional 10 days to investigate and then 435 senators and house said no we're putting in jb even though they would have known this wasn't the real jb but rather an actor puppet so now this casts doubts on how legitimate is the u.s current so-called sitting u.s president now let's look at congress we have currently this brunson case going on supposedly before our supreme court still percolating suing congress uh, for not taking the additional 10 days to look over uh, the information and we had a majority of the congress both the house and the senate come out and say the constitution does not apply to us and therefore we don't need to hire attorneys to defend against this so does not apply so i thought about this and asked god about this and this is what my perception is no the constitution does not apply to the majority of congress who according to the constitution were not put in place not put in place by the people but rather they had money to pay off the counters so that leaves us with the majority 80 percent of the american people viewing both congress and the president as being ill legitimate and therefore not legally authorized to declare either war nor a state of emergency and the majority of the american people understand this and now i have a patriot subscriber who previously was a pilot in the military saying mm -mm, no uh -uh, i'm not going back if you know this so-called activation takes place because we have an illegal puppet jb and also this extends to the congress so mm -mm, not going and then uh, i have a patriot subscriber saying finally we're getting ready to say goodbye to the european union the g7 and nato and say hello nuremberg trials number two so that's going on I have another patriot subscriber said uh, with regard to the radio and this individual is a licensed amateur radio user you only need the license if you're going to talk over it and uh, they recommend getting a, a radio that has am fm a short wave on it so that will work and now we're going to move on to orange skies over the u.s and now we have multiple sources saying this is a biochem weapon okay this is including dr william mount uh galactic talks recent interview of jessica ariel morocco and peter the insider Peter is the director of the 12th Division of the ACIO Alien Contact Intel Organization. That's a division 
of the U.S. government in S.A. And also Hal Turner. Okay. So what we have, I have a Patriot subscriber. I had many Patriot subscribers talking about the orange skies. And uh, so we know in Canada, we had this. So we have New York over here. We have Philly. And interesting things happening in Philadelphia. I'll get to that a little bit later. So we know we have orange skies. Supposedly from the fires in Canada. Now I'll go over. Uh, Dutch Sense has also documented. Okay, first I had information from God in the fall of 2020. Pay attention to the edges of the tectonic plates. And in our case, we're looking at the craton that's over the U.S. and extends into Canada. Because the magma is going to be rising. This is according to God. Now, Dutch Sense has documented both the magma rising and causing the fires in Canada. He's also documenting in the, so in Canada. So, in the south part of Canada, uh, within what last 10 days we had all these multiple fires starting at one time now I submit uh, I believe it's both the magma rising inside the earth creating all these fires it's all across Canada now and in the south part of Canada, when all of these fires appeared to ignite at one time, I have multiple sources now saying this was the missing ammonium nitrate. And it was they were ignited by lasers, something from the sky. I submit we could have a combination of both uh natural and uh, deep state uh, operations going on to produce these fires and now we have ammonium nitrate burning and oh yeah remember when that depleted uranium went off inside Ukraine and the wind was blowing it toward Europe and uh, it was documented on the European sensors. And then after that, it stopped being documented. Now, sources are coming out saying that depleted uranium, that radioactive dust, continues to flow over Europe. The deep state, EU, whoever's in uh, charge of the sensors, has turned off the sensors. Now, allegedly, we have similar sensors in the U.S. for radioactive, and that would apply, I'm sure, to ammonium nitrate. And now we have people in New York saying the smoke smells like ammonia. So that's going on. Now, we have this. We have Peter the Insider, the ACIO, saying this is, here's Canada, underground in this area of Canada and the U.S. is an off-world and on and uh, Earth Alliance, Earth Deep State group, underground, called the Umbrella Corporation. They have a division called Rainstorm, and it's this group that is putting out uh, the ammonium nitrate plus a biochem weapon embedded in it. So that's going on. Yeah. 
So we have this. Yeah. And we also have, I have a Patriot subscriber in Scotland who says that now they have fires burning there and very little mainstream coverage. It's the largest fires in the history of Scotland. And we have this. So umbrella rain, uh, rain storm divisions of this group operated by DARPA. DARPA is a government military group under the direction of the Department of Justice. Now, Peter the Insider with the NSA says the Department of Justice is operating the entire U.S. government on behalf of the deep state and is allowing and perpetrating and assisting and facilitating this chem biochemical weapon to be released on the people of Canada and the U.S. And they're also facilitating at the Texas border the CCP military soldiers coming across. Now, Peter the Insider is talking about an ET group from the Pleiades. That's a constellation. I mentioned uh, a few months ago that God was going to wind up the constellations like you would a, a combination uh, gym lock, uh, locker for your gym at middle school. Pleiades was one of the groups. And uh, Peter the Insider says there's two groups here, 12D Pleiadians and 15D. He's saying they're negative, the 12D, the 15D are positive. Now, it's this group, the 12D Pleiadians, who are working off-world with these groups and have uh, brought in the off-world material to embed in the uh, our, the the fires. Also, FEMA is involved in this. Okay. Now we have this. We have some... Also, we know that the uh, ammonium nitrate, the ammonium nitrate is used in mining and it allegedly came from a mining company. Now, Peter the Insider says two groups also involved in this is Rio Tinto. That's a mining company in Australia. And also Norinco. That's a mining company in China. Okay. Yep. They're involved in it. Now, Dr. William Mount says the New York orange skies is a result of the ammonium nitrate. Dr. Mount's PhD is in forestry. Forest fire smoke is brown, not orange. And that uh, there is something to do with information coming out from uh, an FBI whistleblower. Yeah, we know about the bribes that have gone from JB and the illegitimate Congress to Z and the Ukraine. And we heard this week of additional charges being filed against President Trump. But, oh, the FBI cannot identify individuals who are making statements, provide any information. Now, they're trying to bring forth video that shows some things uh, were taken, uh, were stored at Mar-a-Lago. But those videos don't match up with the cameras that were on during the FBI raid and in the possession of President Trump and his attorneys. 
Judge Jeannie and is saying she's lost faith in the U.S. court system. Well, so has a majority of the American people, and they clearly see an effort by the D's to weaponize the court system. They want to do everything they can to keep President Trump from running in 2024. Well, they better get ready because he may be back a lot earlier than 2024. Okay, now we have this from Hal Turner talking about gas mask N95. So we'll go with this. N95 gas mask and you do have to have the tight seal around the face a beard does interfere with it he's saying to seal around the face you can use Vaseline other sources are saying this was the information that was given to them during their military training now, speculation and sources are coming out about a possible deep state uh, drop of some type of weapons, and then they're going to say, Russia, Russia, Russia. Some of the cities that have been mentioned are Miami, New York City, Chicago, Las Vegas, L.A., Seattle, Dallas, Fort Worth. So, that's going on. It's good to know that God is in charge because with these psychopaths running around. Mr. MBB333 talking about the Canadian fires drifting down into the U.S. and releasing carbon monoxide. Okay, we have this from Monkey Works. More survey flights, and I've put forth my thinking, the survey flights by the U.S. military over the U.S. has been to pick up, could be hot spots where the magma is rising underneath the ground. And we also have ETN News. I think Mary Greeley is now documenting hot spots also. And we have this Panama Canal. The water is going down, which will hamper shipping. So that's going on. Now, we have this. Now we'll move on to the dog man. Dog man. So, Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon formerly with the CIA, now as the ministry, and regularly gets updates from the Pentagon, is talking about an increased report of dogman, and he's bringing this out. The U.S. military had a program running like in maybe the 60s and 70s. They had both male and female soldiers who volunteered to have their additional DNA added to them of wolf and bear, which changed their DNA. They also were able to reproduce. And um, now these, the male and female soldiers, were released into the U.S., national parks and they had IDs on them that could be tracked but certainly the IDs did not apply to the offspring they have had and it has been documented that they produced offspring inside the national parks. Now, the new information that uh, Stephen is bringing out is there are two types. One is the group created on the earth. The second 
comes from off-world, and they are similar in appearance. Uh, they are about seven to nine feet tall. They look like, uh, their face looks like a wolf bear, not human. Their torso looks human. They have patchy hair all over their bodies. The difference with the off-world group is that they can shape-shift and go interdimensional. So you could be out in a national park, encounter one of these. I guess they could attack you and then disappear. But now this group is also out. And uh, also Stephen is bringing this uh, new information out. This group is considered to be pre-flood. In other words, they were on the earth before the flood during Noah's time. And I have put forth that God brought about that Noah flood in Noah's time, an extinction level event, because God does not tolerate genetic manipulation past a certain point. And I submit this also plays into the timing of what it is we're going through right now with this space event coming in on the earth. God despises genetic manipulation. And now we have this. Yeah. So uh, Stephen is saying that, yeah, the created, uh, the human U.S. military male and female soldiers that participated had their DNA changed, uh, changed their mind, their uh, brain from being human to being animal, and these individuals could not be controlled. The U.S. military released them in the Appalachian Latin Mountain area and also Oregon and Washington. Yeah. So that's going on. So we can say dog man is definitely real and there's two types. So that's going on. And now we have this. What's going on at the Texas border? So we have this information from Benjamin Fulford. Yeah, the deep state has assassinated President Obrador of Mexico and uh, some other leaders. They replaced him with an avatar, but neither the Mexican government nor the Mexican cartels are accepting one half of the Mexican cartels have turned against the U.S. government. This was one reason the Silicon Valley Bank went down because this one half withdrew their money. So this is going on. And a one half of the Mexican cartels are no longer transporting red drink. And they're alleging the fentanyl that's being credited to the Mexican cartels is actually coming from the CCP and one half of the Mexican cartels that's still working for the U.S. military and the U.S. CIA. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have, with regard to the Texas border and the U.S. economy, that the deep state allied to a Taiwan group, uh, part of the dragon families. Now, several months ago, Jim Woolley, Ph.D., economist from Costa Rica, was talking about the dragon families, white dragon and golden dragon. And I had a, a instant download from God that these families were real. 
otherwise, you know, we, we might say, who are these? So these, genuinely, the dragon families are ancient Asian families who are positive for uh, and want to do good things for people on the earth. So at any rate, the deep state lied to a Taiwan part of the dragon family. They got billions of dollars signed over to them. They said to the dragon family they would set up humanitarian projects, uh, use the money for that. But what they did was they stole the money. So that's going on. And now, uh, yeah, and uh, Benjamin Fulford says neither the Rothschild family that's in control of uh, mu much of Europe nor the Rockefeller family that's in control of much of the U.S., neither one of these deep state families are in control of a majority of the U.S. military, at least 70% who still recognize President Trump as uh, Commander-in-Chief, and President Trump still carries the nuke biscuit with him. Okay, now we have this. I had a Patriot subscriber sent me some information a few months ago about Philadelphia, seeing some Chinese soldiers there. So this comes out June nine about 5 30 a.m this individual saw two huge helicopters uh, this would be in the philadelphia area and uh, soldiers in brown uniforms and on the side of the plane, it says Republic of Singapore. So that's going on. And near the plane, there were local police cars just standing around. So, yeah, we know that much of our, um, not much, but some of our law enforcement is also part of the deep state it's embedded now we have this in philadelphia hal turner's bringing this out and i had other sources too this morning this would be june 11 about 6 a.m in philadelphia we had uh, i-95 uh this is part of the freeway and it's between Academy Road and Cotman Avenue that the freeway is collapsed and uh, allegedly there's a tanker fire underneath it but I see chatter saying where's the tanker don't see it so what happened to the freeway so that's going on. It's closed in both directions, according to the pen DOT. And now we have this. We have a local uh, where I am in Texas, along the Gulf Coast. It'll be right around here, Gulf of Mexico. We have a, a local uh, photographer who took pictures, and we have thousands of dead fish, supposedly because the oxygen level has gone down in the Gulf of Mexico here, and it's as far as you can see, thousands of dead fish, and it's at Bryan and Quintana beaches. So that's going on. And now we have this. A word from 107 that in 20 to 50 years, we may see Jetson cars. 
you know, the, the Jetson was a TV series, I don't know, 80s, and they had little cars that would fly in the air. But, uh, so 20 to 50 years, Jetson cars, but in 2023, we will see a return of President Trump. So that's going on. Yeah. Not going to wait for the presidential election in 2024. No, he's coming back soon. Okay. A short prayer. This is based on the King James Version, Joshua chapter 10. The name of it is Smite All of Our Enemies with Hailstones. Father, Cover your people who are aligned with you. Your people who have a blood covenant with you through the sanctifying blood of Jesus, who many call Yeshua, that was shed on the cross. Come now, Father. Send your war angels down to earth to smite our enemies with hailstones as you did in the past when Joshua and your people fought the five kings of the Amorites and you Lord our God cast down from heaven giant stones hail stones and Joshua also commanded the sun and moon to stand still until all of their enemies were conquered. And we ask, Father, do the same for us. And we say, Father, bring it. And we say, thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. And it's good to remember God is in charge and he is on the move. And just one of his war angels in the Old Testament killed 185,000 of the enemy in a few hours one night. I love you and I'll see you soon.